Hey you guys, it's Victoria, and guess what? It's July 1st. <laughs> it's always an exciting time, the beginning of a month. It's a time to start over, whether it's with your health and your raw food journey, or whatever area of life you wanna start over in and make anew. The first of the month is always a good time to do that. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm starting to get ready for 4th of July. It's only Tuesday. 4th of July is this Friday. But I wanted to do this video so you guys could be prepared for 4th of July because it's a pretty big holiday. It's a holiday that I've always loved. By the way, I did put on my red, white, and blue outfit. <laughs> Thought it was appropriate. The whole point of this video is I'm going to show you a fabulous salad dressing recipe that I personally love. And I really think that it would be wonderful to bring to any 4th of July festivities that you have. As we all know, holidays are known for family get-togethers and get-togethers with friends. And they're so fun. It's so fun reconnecting with your family and your friends. Or if you're just spending it with your significant other or your husband or wife, holidays are always fun, you know? But... Typically, where there comes family gatherings, there comes unhealthy food, and where there's unhealthy food, there's typically unhealthy drinks and alcohol and stuff like that. So if I can give you any piece of advice to stay healthy this 4th of July, it's going to be to plan. You're going to have to plan what you're going to take to your 4th of July get-together, and if you are having one at your house, which would be really fun, you could have a raw food 4th of July and you could really impress your family and friends with all kinds of raw food, uh, gourmet dishes, you know? It'd be really fun to do that, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna do that someday. So yeah, the whole point is that you're gonna have to plan. And there's so many raw food desserts that you can look up and create and bring, you know, like a raw food peach cobbler. I have a really good recipe for that. It's probably my favorite raw food dessert in the entire world. I should probably do a video on that since peaches are in season. So I should probably do that. But anyway, that's just one example. You know, there's all kinds of raw recipes that you can create, whether it's a salad dressing, a big vegetable platter with a yummy dip, etc, etc. I could go on for a while talking about recipes that you could take to impress your friends and family. But you're just going to have to do that because chances are if you go to a party that is being hosted by standard American diet eaters, <laughs> there's going to be lots of crazy things there and I doubt one of the things there is going to be ripe organic fresh fruit or any type of raw food recipe, right? <laughs> That's just reality. But the fun thing is, is that if you bring your raw food to the party, or if you eat your raw food by yourself on 4th of July, you know, or you going by yourself to watch fireworks, nothing wrong with that. The good thing about it is that you're gonna go to bed the night of 4th of July, or you're gonna wake up on July 5th, and you're gonna feel so good. You're gonna be just as vibrant as you were the day before. You are gonna be energetic. You're gonna be able to work out the next day. You're not going to be um, weighed down, dulled down, dumbed down by these foods. You know, you're still going to be vibrant and healthy and energetic. And guess what? Your kidneys are going to thank you, all of your organs, you know, and your adrenal glands are going to thank you if you don't stay up too late. <laughs> I promise I'm not a party pooper. Just trying to display to you that you don't have to be unhealthy during holiday times and it doesn't have to be a time for you that you break your diet. You know what I mean? You gotta scoot through these days the same as you would any other day because it's just another day except on 4th of July we blow up fireworks, you know? <laughs> and as I have matured, I have realized that blowing up fireworks is probably the equivalent of taking money and lighting it on fire. <laughs> But they're still fun and watching fireworks has been one of my favorite pastimes but anyway I digress so yeah, I'm gonna show you this recipe because it's really really good and maybe you could take it to your 4th of July festivities and you can show everyone around you and you can be an example that you are healthy so without further ado come watch me make this recipe it's gonna be really good and even if you're watching this after July 4th still make this recipe because it's really really good okay so come watch me make this beautiful recipe and I hope you enjoy. 
All right, so I am back and we are ready to make this recipe. So this recipe is not complicated. That was not my mission to make this the most complicated recipe in the world, no. I, in fact, wanted to make this really, really simple. So I just have two honey mangoes that are ripe. And you know they're ripe when you can dig your thumb into it and it punctures. So I have two of these babies. Everything here is organic. And I also have two delightfully dark and beautiful red bell peppers. Now I have a third one in my fridge that's been calling my name. <laughs> so I might use a third one. I'll just see. I just want to make sure the consistency is what I want it to be, not too liquidy. It's typically what I like. I don't like really, really runny salad dressings. I like them a little bit thicker. So we'll just see on that. And then we're going to throw in a couple dashes of apple cider vinegar, some paprika, and cayenne. So this recipe really is easy. And what I'm going to do right now is slice the mangoes. I have showed how to do this before. By the way, side note, these smell so good. It's going to be hard for me not to eat these right now. <laughs> but you just slice down all four sides, peel them, and then we're going to put everything in my handy dandy Vitamix. I love this Vitamix. I have talked about this in a video I did a while back when I was still filming on my phone and I talked about each kitchen essential that I think is really important in a raw food kitchen and I certainly talked about the Vitamix but I will give you a little bit of a lowdown right now. So this baby was about $500. It is an investment but in my opinion it is the best blender that you can buy. Right now, now of course there's competing ones, the Blendtec, the, um, I think it's the Nutribullet is even competing with Vitamix and saying that it's the same engine and such, but it's just cheaper. And that might be true, so you might want to look into that. Because what you want for, if you're going to be a raw foodist, is you really want a high quality blender that's not going to burn up. You don't want a ghetto blend, <laughs> as I've heard Dan McDonald call them. So I love my Vitamix. I will probably have this for 20 years. It's just really powerful and it makes things so much easier when you are making recipes, especially if you're doing a recipe with nuts in it. It just makes it so much easier to blend. You know, you don't have to worry about it burning up. It's one of my babies. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. My other baby is the food processor. I love that as well. But anyway, so I'm gonna peel the mangoes, cut up the red peppers, and I'm gonna put this in the Vitamix and then I will be back to tell you how much of the spices we're gonna use. So stay tuned. All right, so I just cut up the bell pepper and washed my hands off so they're not sticky. And now we're gonna get into the apple cider vinegar. So I'm not even gonna measure this out because like I said, I don't wanna make this so overly complicated that it's just not even fun anymore to make, you know? There are reasons for measuring things but you don't have to that's the beauty of raw foods you can just throw in what you want and what you think is accurate you know it's not like baking where you have to get everything exactly right so i'm just gonna put in probably about four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar but i'm not even for sure i'm just gonna start pouring this in and that is pretty much all I'm going to use of that. So now for the paprika, I'm just going to use a little bit. One, two, three, four, five dashes. And then the cayenne. I love cayenne. It just gives everything a kick, just like the apple cider vinegar does. So one, two, three, four, five dashes of cayenne. And try to get organic spices too. So that is it, you guys. I'm going to put the lid on the Vitamix. And I'm going to blend this up. Smells good already. So let me go get a spoon. I've got to try this. Oh my gosh. Yes, I'm eating right out of the Vitamix because I'm the only one eating this. Oh my gosh. So good. This is the equivalent of kind of a French dressing. The exciting thing is that there are no chemicals in this. There's no preservatives, no colorants, no anything bad. Just wonderful raw living foods. This is just so good. Mm. The mango really gives it a sweetness. It's just wonderful. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna take a butter leaf lettuce, wash it off of course. I'm just gonna take this and just dip it into little butter leaf lettuce bowls and wrap them up and eat them, you know? 
it's not complicated, it's not hard to do raw foods. Now, if I wanted to be really fancy for like a 4th of July get together, you could chop up into little squares or little pieces, cucumber, celery, more red pepper, tomato, carrots, anything you wanted, and then put that in a big bowl, pour this on top of it, mix in the sauce, and then put that in little butter leaf lettuce boats or romaine boats or whatever lettuce you love. You could chop up spinach really finely and mix it in and just have one big beautiful saucy salad. It's just fabulous, it'll be a hit. I promise you that this tastes good enough that someone that did not eat raw foods would try it and like it. So I just really hope that you guys try it because I love it. I really hope that you guys have a good 4th of July. And yes, just stay healthy you guys even at a holiday get together. So I will see you later. Thank you for watching and subscribing and commenting. I always love it, it makes my day. And eat your fruits and vegetables, you guys. <laughs> Bye. All my life I was looking for somebody. Then I met my American girl next door, wild, shy, and sunny. I stopped my search when I found you.